Why does the screen automatically go black when the phone is close to the ear during a call? Why does the screen automatically rotate when the phone is turned horizontally? Why can the phone automatically record the number of steps we take every day? All these experiences are closely related to many hidden sensors inside the phone. You may not necessarily know the names of these sensors, but I dare say you use them almost every day. Today, this video will take you to have a comprehensive understanding of common sensors inside the phone. G-Sensor The G-Sensor, also known as the accelerometer, can detect the phone's rotation direction and acceleration. The commonly used screen auto-rotation utilizes the G-Sensor. The screen auto-rotation feature is usually enabled by default on the phone, but when we lie down and use the phone, screen auto-rotation is not needed. You can manually turn it off. The shake function we often use during festivals is also using the G-Sensor. Many step counting and fitness apps also use the G-Sensor to calculate the user's steps, running distance, and burned calories. The G-Sensor often collaborates with the gyroscope for game control. Gyroscope The gyroscope can sense the phone's rotation and tilt. It calculates the phone's rotation angle and direction by measuring angular velocity and angular displacement, thus realizing directional sensing and control functions. For example, when admiring panoramic pictures, just changing the phone's orientation will make the image automatically move in the direction of the phone's movement. Many racing games directional control and first-person shooter aiming control also rely on the gyroscope and G-Sensor collaboration. The gyroscope can also help the phone camera achieve image stabilization by measuring angular velocity and angular displacement to calculate the camera's rotation angle and direction. This information is used to process the image, reducing the impact of shaking on the shooting quality. E-Compass The E-Compass, also known as the electronic compass, is most commonly used in the phone's compass determining direction. In map applications, when rotating the phone, the navigation icon's direction changes accordingly, determining the user's current direction. During map navigation, the E-Compass collaborates with GPS to determine the vehicle's direction. L-Sensor the L sensor is generally located at the top of the phone screen. It can detect the intensity of surrounding light and automatically adjust the screen brightness based on the detection results. P sensor. The P sensor, also known as the proximity switch, is generally at the top of the phone screen. It is used to detect the distance between the phone and an object, making corresponding adjustments to the phone's status. For example, during a call, when the phone is close to the ear, the P sensor calculates and adjusts the screen to turn off. This not only saves power but also prevents accidental touches on the screen. Some models' pocket mode also work on this principle. Barometer The barometer is commonly found in rugged phones, like the Umidigi Bison X10 I have in my hand, which comes with a built-in barometer that can calculate the current location's altitude based on the atmospheric pressure value. Hall Sensor The Hall Sensor, also known as the Hall Switch, can detect changes in the magnetic field, thus implementing a switch function. Some phone or tablet case's front cover contains magnetic material. When the cover is closed, and the magnetic material is in close contact with the phone, changing the magnetic field size at the location of the hall sensor beneath the screen, the phone detects the change and issues a screen off command. Similarly, opening the cover automatically turns on the screen using the same principle. You can easily observe the effect by bringing a magnet close to the location of the hall switch. Above is today's sharing. Follow Umidigi for more practical and fun tips waiting for you.